millionaire status. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can actually become a millionaire by the time you retire. So there are several ways that you can actually become a millionaire. You can win the lottery, uh, maybe you can start a business and sell it, or maybe you can start a business that you keep it and it generates millions. Uh, but if you're just working and you are less than an employee and you're trying to become a millionaire, there's a easy way that you can go about doing that. But the trick about it to work is that you have to start as early as possible to make it easy on you. So um, what I'm talking about here is a Roth IRA account or what you call a Roth IRA. Um, so if you don't know what that is, a Roth IRA, it's kind of a retirement bucket where you put in uh, post-tax money, um, it grows in the market, and then you get that money when you retire tax-free. So if you put in, let's say, 6000 which is a maximum contribution, you invest that money, it grows uh, over time. When you retire, that money you can actually use it uh, for your retirement tax-free. So that's what a Roth IRA account is, and it's a really good retirement strategy that a lot of people are not taking advantage of it uh, before we jump into the video today guys if you're new on the channel please definitely consider subscribing um, give us a thumbs up here and share this video with people that you think would find it useful so you start early it's gonna make your life a lot more easy so we're gonna look um, at some numbers that I have here behind me and then we're gonna go through it and I'll show you easily how you can do it I'm actually, I do have a Roth IRA account and I'm funding the account. I'm maxing it out every single year because I want to take advantage of this um, by the time I retire to get tax free money, which is awesome. So, um, so behind me, I have actually broken down the, uh, you know, what we're going to talk about today into four major categories. So if you are in your twenties or in your thirties or in your forties or in your fifties, this is a great strategy that is really gonna help you. So I fall in this category, I'm in my 30s. So it's, it's awesome. I'm actually making sure that I'm, I'm doing what I'm about to tell you guys today to do. So if you don't have a Roth IRA account, already that's the biggest mistake. So you can either go to any of the major um, investment companies out there, I say um, Vanguard, Fidelity, um, and open a Roth IRA account. Um, and so if you are just maybe an individual, you can actually max an account to say $6,000. Um, if you're between ages, um, I'll say zero to 50. And if you are over 50, they give you what sell a catch up amount of $1,000. So you can max your $6,000 plus an additional $1,000. So that's going to be $7,000 a year. And here's the catch guys. Once you contribute into your uh, Roth IRA account, if you make a certain amount of money, and again, um, you can go read this up. If you make a certain amount, amount of money, um, I think single, it's about 120,000, 123,000, you qualify to contribute that $6,000 into that account. And they will deduct that from your taxable income. So if you make, say $100,000, you contribute $6,000 into your Roth IRA account, your taxable income goes from $100,000 to $94,000. Guys, that is awesome. And then once you, you contribute that money in that account, you invest it, it grows. When you retire, you pull that money out tax-free. Awesome. Isn't that great? So if you don't have a rough area account, again, like I said, uh, Vanguard, Fidelity, I'm going to put the links in the description below. You can go out there, create um, or open a, a rough area account. So at this point, you can still contribute to your 2019 um, until April 15, you can still contribute to 2019. So if you haven't already contributed, or even if you don't have the Roth IRA, open it now. You can contribute 6,000 for your 2019 before you file your taxes. And if you've really filed your taxes already, it's okay. Open the account, contribute 6,000 into the account, and go back to your tax person and amend your, your filing. And the IRS is okay with that. You can amend your filings. That way you don't let the opportunity go. And then for 2020, you make sure that you contribute um, the max amount into the account. Again, it's gonna grow tax-free. Now, I'll show you the different uh, possibilities that can actually happen. So let's jump into the board and look at some numbers that it can really make sense for you. So again, like I said, if you fall into let's say your 20s into your 30s into your 40s into your 50s the the younger you are 
the better for you and the easier the process is. When I say easy, it means that the amount of money that comes out of your pocket every month or every week or every year is a lot smaller the younger you are because you have enough time to continue to put that money and it would grow over a huge amount of time. So if you are in your 20s and you're gonna retire at say age 67, you have a lot of time for that money to grow in the market. Uh, if you're in your 30s, you have time for that money to grow, but not as much as somebody that's in their 20s. Likewise, if you're in your 40s and if you're in your 50s. So, um, we're going to assume that you're going to retire at age 67 with $1 million in your Roth IRA account. That is what we'll, this video is all about, right? You want to retire at age 67 with $1 million in your Roth IRA account. So, how do you go about that? Uh, the first thing, another assumption that we're going to assume here is that uh, the rate of returns in the market is going to be between 10 and 12 percent. Um, the market has been doing so great. Um, my 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 accounts this year alone, I've I've gotten up to about 20 between 28 and 35 percent returns on my account. So and that number is going to go up and down. But when you average it out, we're assuming that you come out on top and you can go between 10 and 12 percent. Um, and then uh, so in this example, we're going to use 12 percent. Um, so um, if you are in your 20s. This is what's going to happen. If you start contributing every week, you put $12 into your Roth IRA account. By the time you retire at age 67, you get a million dollars. It'd be $12 a week or $45 a month or $540 a year. By the time you retire, you get a million dollars in your Roth IRA account. Sounds good? Now let's look at you in your 30s. So if you're in your 30s, now that number goes up. So instead of $12 a week, now you're putting in $36 a week. And then monthly, you are you're looking at at least about $145 a month. And um, yearly, you're looking at um, $1,700 a year to actually contribute into the account. So if you do this, you would get a million dollars in your rough arrow. Um, again, with the assumption that you're getting 12% return um, in the account, you will retire with a million dollars in your rough error. Now, let's move into your 40s. Uh, in your 40s, that number jumps up again. Weekly, you, you put in at least $115. Um, and then monthly, you're looking at $450. And annually, you're looking at $5,400 to retire at age 67 with a million dollars. Now, if you're in your 50s, this is where it gets interesting. If you're in your 50s, you are now fighting time. Time isn't your enemy at this point. So how do you fight time? You have to be aggressive. You have to put in a ton of money. So in your 50s, you put 12, uh, $412 a week or you put $1,600 a month or $1,900 a year. That would get you to a million dollars in your rough error by the time you retire at age 67 right here that's the key age age 67 so I, I hope this is really uh just gonna break it down for you it's easy for you to be able to retire with a million dollars in your rough hour when you're younger than when you're older because um again like i said when you're younger you have enough time to play with the market and get all those gains and then the amount of money that comes out of your pocket because if i say 12 dollars a week right now if you're in your 20s and you have a full-time job I would, I would challenge you that for you to get $12 a week is very easy. I guarantee you, you, you go out maybe every Friday or Saturday with some friends and get a few drinks and that can, it should be more than $12. So if you take that money and, and put it into your investment account, you can retire with a million dollars at age 65. Um, likewise in your 30s. So again, this is the math um, that you have to do if you're looking at retiring. And this is not the only retirement option that you should have, guys. This is just one um, of the retirement options. And your, your rough area account is just one bucket. Um, again, this is a breakdown of the numbers. Um, one another assumption that I didn't mention earlier, guys, is that um, this investment will put them in securities. And when I say securities, um, I'm, I'm talking about things like, I'm talking about things like stocks. I'm talking about ETFs. Um, I'm talking about um, index funds. 
so that is where your money is going to go so that is the this is the another assumption so we're putting them in individual stocks or you put them in etfs or you putting them in an index funds for people that don't have any investing experience this is your best bet these two here are your best bet uh, because it takes really really easy work to actually put money into this it's just autopilot like you buy this and just let it just let it ride you don't have to do any research or anything that's about it so um again if you follow this strategy um you retire with a million dollars in the bank account which is freaking awesome so um i hope this was really uh really good for you if you have any questions uh, as far as what we just talked about today don't hesitate to leave a comment below with your question i'll definitely answer them or you can follow me on instagram at uh, mr money geek uh, and i would definitely answer your questions uh, there as well um question of the day uh, what is your main retirement strategy do you have a rough error if not what are you waiting for if you have it are you maxing it out let me know in the comment section like share subscribe and as always guys stay motivated